Sam Barber, thanks for taking the time and a good report from the Navy Classic last weekend. Yeah, I think we had another solid weekend. You know, I think uh, hit or miss across the lineup. I, we were looking for a little bit more consistency at a couple of places, but um, we definitely had some some high level performance. You know, starting off again was Wyatt Hendrickson, another championship. Um, got to wrestle a national ranked guy, a guy that's a little bit um, harder to move around, and, and it was good to have him, you know, manage that match, but do it in a dominating fashion where the guy really wasn't in the match, and why I can just kind of cruise through and do what he does in, in sound positions. And then Cody Fippen had another nice tournament, got to the finals, um, had an opportunity to wrestle another national ranked guy, and it was just right down to the wire in overtime. Real, really close call. I think it came down to overtime, riding time, four seconds of riding time against University of Nebraska. And then a breakout performance for our freshman 25-pounder, Tucker Owens. Uh, knocks off a national qualifier, number 12th ranked guy in the country, um, and uh, Noto from Lock Haven. So good win for him. Gets in, the, gets in the finals against a pretty solid Michigan State guy. And again, has opportunities to win that match too, right down to the wire. Right down to do it to to the last second, so the last takedown. But yeah, I thought I thought our guys again we competed um, pretty well. Uh, I know we got some guys like Dylan Martinez that you know wanted to be a little sharper, and Gianno Petrocelli he's trying to find his groove and get going. Um, you know, Sam Wolf is uh, you know he'll he'll be he'll continue to have a strong season. It's still in the rankings this week, so four guys in the rankings this week with Tucker Cody. Um, Sam and Wyatt, you know, we feel good about that, and we're sure that Dylan will end up back in there again when he gets another opportunity. And then we got some growth. We still got some growth in a few different weight classes. You know, we got to keep shoring up those weight classes that that aren't placing in those tournaments and get those guys at a little bit higher level. And then had a second group of guys go to Kearney, Nebraska, and get some opportunities and compete hard and took advantage of that and got a lot of matches. So. Felt uh, overall, um, felt felt okay about last weekend. And that's what it's all about is having those guys. You never know when those guys in the secondary tournament might be in that first one. Well, we're a growth and development program, right? So that's one thing. If you look at the guys in our program, they grow and get better, you know. And I think we have a lot of guys that are good examples of that. But Dylan Martinez, you know, he wasn't a guy that was in the national rankings as a freshman, sophomore, right? And a junior, senior, he's been in and out of there. And that's just been his growth and development. But that's one of a lot of guys, you know, Sam Wolf's in that area, Cody Fippen. We've just had a lot of guys that grow and develop in our program. So for sure, I think of, like, it's a strength. Uh, what we do, we get guys, we find the right guys that are going to be Mission First Academy guys, and they buy into our program, and we help them grow their wrestling and become the best they can be on and off the mat. A little bit of time for your team to rest now, and uh, Thanksgiving, important holiday for your program, I know. Yeah, it's an important holiday. I think, you know, our guys, first and foremost, the sport of wrestling, we work pretty hard. Our freshmen showed up here in early, uh, in mid-June, and first chance they get a chance to get to go home and spend some time with their family, I think that's important. Um, wrestling's a tough sport. We've been working really hard since August, so uh, the guys will be home for four days. They're not going to be off. They'll just be training at home. Uh, they're they're hardworking guys with a high level of trust, and we know they can get a lot of work done. But uh, you know, Thanksgiving, uh, it's it's the it's the holiday for for gratitude. Mm -hmm. uh, one of my favorite things about this uh, this time of year, and and we're grateful in the program, grateful for Mr. Pine, grateful for Miss Block, and the things they do in supporting our athletic department. Uh, everybody in the athletic administration here, our families that support our program, our alumni, the Long Blue Line, they're out, the Long Blue Line, they're outstanding. Um, our coaching staff, me personally, like I'm really grateful for the coaching staff and the guys I get to work with every day. And then finally, the reason we're here are cadet athletes, you know. So much gratitude for those guys and how they show up and, and what, they, uh, what they're here to do and what they're here to accomplish on and off the mat. So we're really grateful and, uh, and really thankful um, that we get to do what we do here at the United States Air Force Academy with Air Force Wrestling. Happy Thanksgiving to all the wrestling fans. Happy Thanksgiving to you, Sam. I appreciate you. Thanks.